Hi, this is Karimi Kagwe and you're watching Just A Mom and today I want to do a video I actually don't have an actual topic I just want to do a catch-up video and then we can go into other topics in the next videos so yes Karibu yeah so um, I'm so glad to be back it's been goodness I was checking um, my social media pages and the last video I posted was in August it was when uh, my husband and I did this series called The Truth About Marriage and we, we covered a few topics and then we were cut short by life. <laughs> first of all, the responses to roles and responsibilities, the first video we did with, with George, oh my gosh, I did not expect um, so many responses. It, it, I can't even tell you the numbers, there were so many. So many people watched the video, so many people commented, other people shared on there on their pages and, and, and on their walls and started some very interesting conversations and I am I'm happy about that because the reason we did those videos was to start real and authentic conversations about marriage because I feel like a lot of content out there or the material out there about marriage is not real people put up a picture and and they make it seem like everything is perfect but us guys were ready to put ourselves <laughs> on the line and we're ready to get attacked not really attacked but you know how people respond for in order for the truth to get out because i feel if we don't have those real conversations people continue to die inside with the problems that they're facing and the struggles that they're having and yes it's i feel it's it's time that people talked about um yeah to have real conversations now and then after we posted the first video um someone shared it on their page and um, a few women said some things about me as a person that really broke me. And I felt, I think this was my first experience with what people called, <laughs> called trolls. I think it's called trolling. And um, this was actually one of the reasons I wasn't that excited to start a channel because I know the internet can be harsh. And uh, people were talking about how I dress, how I talk how um, i'm trying too hard or the days i don't look like i've even tried to dress up or how i don't even wear makeup or even do my hair and things like that and sadly most of the people who are talking were women actually all of them who commented um with negative comments were women and it's sad that most of them were mothers and some of them i saw were even stay-at-home moms now the thing is the reason when i started this channel one of the things i promised myself and my husband who's been so supportive and who's been my cameraman hi, was that i did not want to put on a mask and for me putting on a mask is putting on makeup i'm not i'm not the kind of girl or lady who puts on makeup on a daily basis so why would i put on makeup when i want when i'm uh, um as I do this channel. For me, that doesn't feel authentic. Um, the things I, I put on are lip gloss, lipstick, eye pencil, and I'm good to go. And I do my eyebrows and things like that. But I would never spend hours doing layers of foundation and contouring. I mean, there are people who love makeup and all those things, but, but for me, on a regular day-to-day -day basis, makeup is not on my schedule. And it feels like, um, oh yeah, and then the comments about how I was dressing. Now, you have to understand, it's important to know people's stories before you judge them. When I started this channel, I, it was it was part of it was more therapeutic for me than even for for those who have related so much with the content. I needed a space to talk about my struggles. There are days I didn't want to even get out of bed. I was going through depression. I was going through uh, grief um, after losing to uh, you know losing our babies and. For me to even get up and sit down and sit in front of a camera and talk, it used to feel like such. Uh, it used to feel like such. Uh, what is it called? Like I've climbed a mountain and I've conquered. It used to make me feel like at least I've done this one thing today. And again, that was my. That was me being authentic. That was my journey. I, I was not going to fake the fact that I was happy and life was perfect. It was not. 
and how I presented myself was how I was feeling. Now, as I continue to grow stronger and as I've continued to deal and even get therapy and all that stuff, I, I start to feel better about myself. I, I, I take more time to, you know, dress up and even choose something that looks presentable as people call it. And again, it's a journey to authenticity. And it's sad that, <laughs> that people only want to see perfection and i'm sorry if that's what you're looking for then you need to change the channel immediately like don't watch my content i'm never going to be fake i don't i, I don't think there's anybody who's perfect i don't think there's anyone will ever reach perfection actually when you're on this earth the only person who's perfect is god and as i continue this journey i am going to continue presenting myself as i am and in the season that i am so yeah i pray that We'll, we'll be more kind to every, I mean, to each other and that we'll have more patience with one another as women. That I would have loved it if someone would have even sent me an inbox and given me suggestions, you know, on, on how I can improve on my content, on how I can improve on how I dress and things like that. That feels like it's coming from a, a, good, a, good, a good place. But for you to write comments about how I look and how I dress on a stranger's a platform that wasn't even mine, and just say all these nasty things, just to say them, what good, what good does that do? How have you improved somebody else's life? Does it make you feel better to tear other people down? There's a problem there. And yes, so I, don't, I, didn't, really ex I didn't really plan to talk so much about this, but it, it really um, touched a very core part, a, a, a core place in me and I, and I pray that um, the last thing I'll say about this is I pray that as we continue, as I continue doing this channel, that people will, will, will welcome the authenticity and the openness and the realness because that is all and that I, I, I plan to share with you. So yeah, I'm back and uh, keep watching, keep commenting. I'm open to all kinds of, you know, um, what's the word hey today english has disappeared feedback ideas on any topics that you'd want us to talk about i am so open i'm game i want to do as much content as i can before the year ends and yes yeah, so this is just the mom and this is from my heart like from my heart to yours thank you for watching mm -hmm.